So this tutorial is about two-dimensional plan stress using alpacas. A square thin plate, 4 cm in thickness with a circular hole 3 cm in radius is subjected to a uniform distributed force at the x direction. The length of the plate is 20 cm in length and the pressure is applied 5 kN per meter square. So we are going to model using symmetry condition in alpacas. So given that the Young modulus of the structure is 210 GPa and the Poisson ratio is 0 0.3. So next, we are going to create the parts by double click the parts and create parts window will appear. So we are going to name it as plate. For the modeling space is 2D planner, type is deformable, base feature is shell and the approximate size is 2 and we are going to click continue. So next, we are going to create a rectangle. So by click the create line rectangle and in the window, so we are going to create a rectangle as shown. So after that, we are going to add some constraint because the plate is in square shape. Then and add condition window will appear. So we agree, we are going to select equal length and select the vertical and the horizontal line and the square shape is appear on your screen. After that, click the done button. Next, we are going to add some dimension. Select one of the length and enter 0 0.1. Please note that alpacas do not take any unit but we encourage using SI unit. So the next step is we are going to create a circle. After that, we are going to add to trim some of the line. And after that, add some dimension of the circle and insert it as 0 0.03 as radius. Then click done. For the material parts, so we are going to double click for the material and edit material window will appear. So the next step is click on mechanical, elasticity and elastic and we are going to enter the young modulus at 210 gigapascal and the Poisson ratio is 0 0.3. For the section assignment, so double click on the X section assignment and we are going to select the plate after that click done so after we click done and edit section assignment is appear on your screen so we are going to select the section and create section window will appear so select solid and homogeneous and click continue and edit section window will appear again so we are going to take the plan stress or strength thickness this is because we are model it as a two-dimensional and the thickness we assume that is 0 0.04 as mentioned in the uh, question after that we are going to click ok so at the end edit section assignment window will appear again so in this case the type material and the thickness is properly set. After that, we click OK. If everything is correctly defined, so a turquoise colored plate will appear on your screen. Next, we are going to create the instances by double click the instances and create instance window will appear on your screen and we are going to click OK and the plate will display in blue color. So the next step is we are going to apply the boundary condition. Double click on the boundary condition and create boundary condition window will appear. So in this case, so what we are going to name is at X symmetry and we are going to select symmetry and click continue. So in this case, so we are going to select the vertical line only and click done. So, and edit boundary condition window will appear. 
So in this case, so we are going to select X symmetry. So why we are going to select X symmetry? Because the plate we are modeled as symmetry. So, so the plate do not move horizontally, but it will move vertically. So therefore, we are going to select X symmetry and followed by OK. Repeat the other line for the other horizontal line. Select the horizontal line and we click done. Similarly, at edit boundary condition window will appear. At this time, we are going to select Y symmetry because for the horizontal line, it do not move vertically, but if you move horizontally. So therefore, we are going to select Y symmetry and follow by OK. For the step, we are going to double click the steps and correct step window will appear, select the procedure type and select list perturbation and followed by statics and we click continue. After we click continue, edit step window will appear, so click OK. The next step is to create the load. Double click the loads and create loads window will appear. So in this case, the pressure is applied on the structure so therefore we are going to choose select pressure and click continue after we click continue so we are going to select the vertical line on the right hand side and we click con done after we click done and edit lot window will appear so in the question a 5 kN per meter square pressure is apart. Therefore, we are, the magnitude we are going to enter is minus 5,000. And a screen will be appear on your, the, the plate will be appear on your screen. Then we click OK. The next step is we are going to create a mesh. Double click the mesh and next in the menu bar select seat and edge so in this case we are going to uh, allocate more element in the curve then we select the curve only followed by done after we click done and local seat window will appear so in this case we are going to enter 0 0.001 meter as the element size or one millimeter in length and we click OK. Repeat the seat for the remaining line with a mesh of two millimeters and we click OK. Next is to define the element type so we are going to select the whole plan and we click done and the element type window will appear so in this case untick the reduce integration follow by ok and click done next before we mesh the part click mesh control first this is because we are going to choose what type of element shape we are going to plot so in this case a mesh control window will appear so there are two types of element shape the first one is quad or quad dominant means one rectangular element have four knots or we can select the triangular element by select tri so in our example here so we are going to select quad element with structure technique so i will explain in detail what is structure technique in later slide so next we are going to mesh our part then it will ask is it okay to mesh the part yes so after we mesh our part a quad element with structure technique is appear on your screen so the first type is structure technique. The second type is 
free techniques. So you will realize the two differences between structure and the free technique we are applying here. Or if I, we choose triangular element, so this will be triangular element with free technique and on the right figures will be structure technique. So we will realize that the structure technique, the element is much more organized compared to free technique. And also in the curve section will be more dense mesh is uh, allocated for the free technique and the structure technique is much more organized. So in this case, so we are going to use quad element shape with structure technique. So next, after we have done our meshing, so we are going to create our jobs by double click on jobs and create jobs window will appear and click continue followed by OK. Next, right click on the job one, then click submit followed by OK. So the simulation will be take a while to run. After it's completed, it will show it on your screen. Then the simulation is done. So the next step is we need to analyze the result. So right click on the jobs one, then click result. Then we can view our first result is war misses stress. So in this case, so we we are we, we have seen that the maximum stress is occur at the curve area. So if we want to know for the higher stress, what is the element number, we can select the common option and the common option window will appear. Click the label and take the show element label followed by OK. And we are going to zoom in at that particular higher stress and you will notice that 2173, the element number, have the highest wall misses stress. So you may export the solution in the report and from the report, we are going to verify what is the maximum stress corresponding to which element. So in this case, so is 2173 element have the highest stress of 17.74 kilopascal. So this is how we, we uh, take the maximum stress at this particular element size. So the next step is to run the conversion test. So in this conversion test, I have run five different number of elements corresponding to different element size. So in this case, so I'm going to plot it in the graph. So in this graph, so I have five different elements with corresponding to maximum stress. So I'm going to plot it using the polynomial line. So and I found that the most we can use the element is about between make uh, 4,500 to 5,500. Okay, so this is the optimum number of element we can use. Okay, so the next is I'm going to show you is about undeformed shape and deformed shape. Okay, so we can click on the result and show us what is the original shape and what is the final shape after we apply the pressure. I hope you guys know how to read the result here. So the next of step is we are going to view what is the displacement. So click the not displacement. Oh, sorry, check the not displacement. So we, we can do it by click the result followed by fill output and the fill output window will appear. Select the U or displacement as not and the invariance is magnitude followed by OK. 
So and a plan will you you guys will see here is so for the right lower end so the maximum displacement is about that area if we are looking for the left end so there is more blue color is allocated so it mean that for the left end so the displacement is insignificant compared to the lower right end thank you